This journey of self-improvement is beautiful, but I have found myself not taking certain risk because I should know better. But the thing is, I don't really know better. I'm just told that I should know better. And don't get me wrong, that is solid advice, but it don't get the things out of my mind. It don't remove that feeling I have inside my heart, my gut, and it don't let me continue without distractions. And this is where I would say that risk and reward and be cautious because you can get into a situation and you'll be stuck there. But this is really where you weigh your options, man. Is the risk worth the potential reward? In most cases, it probably will be. And the thing is, you know better, but that don't do anything until you at least experience something and let it go wrong. And then from there, you will really learn and then you will really grow. Because anytime something goes wrong or anytime something don't go your way if you have the right mindset you will learn from it because if you just take the L and like feel bad and don't really evaluate what happened or nothing like that then you just took an L for no reason you know what I'm saying but if you learn from it then it was necessary but most of the time this risk will be worth it might you might not even get the reward but you will learn from it and you need to experience certain things man you need things to go wrong. You need this. One, to grow your character, grow your mindset, grow your emotional intelligence, grow every aspect of yourself. You need things to go wrong. Because that is when you learn the most and it's going to be uncomfortable. It's not going to be the best in the short term, but in the long term, you will be better off. Remember that. Now to those that just want to jump into things without really seeing the risk for what the risk can be, be careful, man. Proceed with caution. If you know, because you might not know better from the situation, but you know yourself at least enough to know that you shouldn't jump into certain things, at least right now. Because if you do, you will either end up in too deep or in a position where you can't get yourself out of it and that will not benefit you because then you will get caught up in that situation and that will take up all your time all your energy and all that so if you know better in that sense this might this risk might not be worth the reward that's where I really want you to think about it man but don't think about it I don't know because I can I it's hard to say man it's hard to say because certain risks are worth the reward and certain some aren't but it's really personal to yourself but the thing is you don't know you don't know better in that situation but you know better from within <laughs> like I'm gonna give like a stupid ass example right now like let's say people gonna invite you to go smoke but you know you're you're fucking quick to build habits or build addictions. That risk is not worth the reward. You know what I'm saying? Like I know it don't really make sense, but you get what I'm saying, right? Or what's another example I could give? I don't even know too many for real. I'll give mine, I guess. It's some bullshit. You guys already know what it is, bruh. The girl I like. Risk and reward. The way I think about it. What do I risk? I don't really risk much. That's why the reward is good. Because one, no, look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. And I said this already a couple times. And I tell myself this over and over again to try to get it off my mind, I feel like. But look, I see some red flags. I see some things I probably shouldn't. I should know better. I shouldn't engage with this. But I can't get her off my mind. I can't move past this. And it blocks me my mind from proceeding into the next thing or even being on my shit and I don't like that so then I think about it I'm like man the risk is what well one getting rejected again because I already got rejected one time by her but now she's fucking with me I guess so I got I might as well do it again but the reward is so many rewards man one I asked her out again 
build up that that confidence because after I got rejected the first time I was like fuck it bro I don't give a fuck it's cool so if I get it again then fuck it you're gonna see me go hard in the gym you know what I'm saying two potentially if it ends up being a relationship I learn a lot because I haven't been in a relationship personally so I could learn a lot from that three I will learn about my I, I've been already, I'm already learning about myself because I'm trying to I'm starting to think I'm like bro what is the thing that's stopping me from talking to her for real then I think about it, I'm like, do I care what people think at work? Why am I nervous to talk to her when she already likes me? There's all these things that I don't know the answers to yet. And I will eventually, after the risk, I have to take the risk. I have to engage with it. Because if I was able to just get her off my mind and get on my shit and move on, I feel like that would probably be better. But I can't. So guess what? I got to jump into this risk. And see what happens, man. Reward or not. There's going to be lessons learned. New things experienced. That's what's important. And that's what life is. Just be careful. Take care.